Hi, I'm Chris Rhodes, Field Technical Leader with Owens Corning. Today I'm here with Todd Miller of Isaiah Industries and the Metal Roofing Alliance. We're here today to continue our conversation about uh, underlayments and how they relate to metal roofing. And first, you know, I kind of wanted to cover fasteners and um, specifically how we typically install um, fasteners or what we want to see um, as it relates to shingles. Kind of like to talk about the differences. So with shingle application, what we recommend is we would like to see a plastic cap fastener in every location marked on, on the underlayment itself. Um, if it's for same day application, we will totally allow every other target. You don't have to hit every single target. And we will also allow just a standard roofing nail to be installed. Um, we also are, are totally okay with using a metal cap nail for shingle installation. But uh, maybe you could kind of tell us, you know, in terms of metal roofing, what it is that, that you as a manufacturer like to see. Sure, I think our applications are very, very similar to your best practices in terms of what we recommend. So um, very much, we normally suggest the plastic cap nails. Uh, we do not care for staples so much, so we don't want those to be used. Um, of course, we also very much suggest following the fastening pattern as specified by titanium or the underlayment manufacturer. It's great that you guys mark it because there are products out there that don't do that. Um, also, as far as the idea of using a roofing nail, if it's a same day cover, that's a pretty good idea if you're doing a standing seam system because the standing seam systems have so much direct contact between the metal and the roof deck that there is a risk if someone is walking the roof and they happen to step right over a plastic gap that it will telegraph through. And so the roofing nails help to avoid that. But other than that, you know, our procedures are gonna be very similar to best practices for an asphalt shingle roof. That's great, thanks for that. Bob.